President Yori Kaguta Museveni has urged Ugandans, especially in markets, to get back to business now that the country has fully opened. The president says people now only need to be fully vaccinated and not to worry so much about COVID-19 while in public places. The market which we launched down there must be used now. Because the reason we had stopped markets was because of corona. But a few, a few weeks ago, you remember, I made a national broadcast and you said we had opened the, 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 the country. That, and, and, and we are now emphasizing immunization. So the border is now open. The president made the remarks on Wednesday, December 21st, 2022, while speaking to crowds at Impondo, Uganda Democratic Republic of Congo board, shortly after commissioning phase one of the Impondo Luhibira border export zone market and Impondo one stop border post in Kasese district. The over 5 billion shilling facility, funded by World Bank through Great Lakes Trade Facilitation Project, is meant to enable cross border trade by increasing the capacity for commerce and reducing the costs faced by traders, especially small scale and women traders in the borderlands. Trade between Uganda and Democratic Republic of Congo has been affected by restrictions requirements such as visa fees in dollars equivalent to Uganda shillings 10,000 for Ugandans to cross into Democratic Republic of Congo. The president assured continued peace to the people of Kasese and the whole Renzori region and thanked DRC President Felix Teskedi for agreeing to work with Uganda to clear the allied Democratic Forces rebels out of Congo and vote not to leave any stone unturned. Now, the... On the issue of peace, I want to thank His Excellency Chisekedi. For agreeing to work with us to, 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 to clear ADF out of Eastern Congo. And we shall do it. And we are doing it. On commercial agriculture, His Excellency Museveni emphasized the seven activities for people with small portions of land on account of high returns per acre per annum. The president reiterated that families with six acres and above can use four acres for coffee, fruits, food crop, dairy farming, pigs, poultry, fishing. They can also produce low-value crops like sugarcane, cotton, tobacco, maize, etc., and on the other two acres, in addition to high-value activities. He cautioned them against the wrong method of physical land fragmentation, saying it discourages wealth creation. On infrastructure, the president promised to work on the road from Kikorongo to Mpondwe border. If, because if, if I have income, even if the government hospitals are not efficient, I can go to a private doctor. And if, if the government schools are not teaching you well, I can t send my children to private, to, to private schools. So homestead income, homestead income is really, really what everybody should do. Uh, and with the Chivaro. Now, I think the other most important part for this area, apart from peace, is the, this road. I, this road is not good from the, the equator, from Chikorongo. I, I came on a part of it, but I, I, we are going to work on it. I will I'm, make sure we work on this. The State Minister for Trade, Harriet Intabazi, said more 18 markets of this nature will be constructed as a way of building bridges to counter the barriers of trade between Uganda and the other East African countries. And our agent says that we have 18 markets of this nature which are going to be constructed. Now, in the one-stop center, Your Excellency, we have provided for the Minister of Agriculture, Animal Industry and Fisheries because one of the biggest exports that we are doing in Uganda is agricultural nature. So, Your Excellency, we are going to have a big struggle with the Minister of Agriculture to make sure that they produce enough
to feed Ugandans and then produce enough for East Africa and then outside. You have done a lot, Your Excellency, in looking for markets. And among the priorities that you've set is market access. The five priorities that you've set, Your Excellency, market access is one of them. And you've done your best. Now the markets have been are now available. The Commissioner General Uganda Revenue Authority, John Musinguzi, described the event as a testimony that there is growing business between Uganda and DRC. And what we are witnessing today, commissioning of the one-stop border point between Uganda and the Democratic Republic of Congo is testimony that there is growing business between these two countries, which had not been there, despite the fact that these countries have always lived by each other, next to each other, but without much to trade. Your Excellency, the role of the one-stop border point that you have just opened today is to put together all the different agencies of government that facilitate trade to ensure that the cost of doing business is minimized and there are no delays. So on behalf of the colleague agencies that we sit together in these one-stop border points, that is the Ministry of Agriculture, the Immigrations Department, the National Drug Authority, security agencies, we all are pledging before you that going forward, we are going to facilitate business and trade between Uganda and the Democratic Republic of Congo. Pondi one-stop border post in Kasese district becomes the eighth one-stop border post after Malaba, Mutukula, Luakaka, Elegu, Katuna, Mirama Hills, and Interoko also set only waiting to be commissioned. Two more are under construction including Swam River one-stop border post in Buawo on the border with Kenya. Uganda's trade with DRC has progressed over the years with the country's export to DRC now amounting to over 300 million US dollars. Export through Mpondwe majorly comprises agricultural produce and industrial products. The ceremony was attended by, among others, State Minister for Local Government, Honorable Victoria Rusoke, State Minister of East African Community, Honorable Magode Ikuya, religious leaders and officials from the government of the Democratic Republic of Congo. Anselm Ojaru, live at 8.